non si può cazzo, ma non ha visto che c'è il cestino qua, qua di fianco? Ah, Christmas, one of the best one of the best times of the year. The time to pass with the one you love, your family, your friends, the time of togetherness. Right? Listen, a real estate agency that manages luxury properties just contacted me to tell me some of the most exclusive apartments are available to show. But there's always a but. Today is December 22nd and the first showing is the day after tomorrow, the 24th. So I probably wouldn't be able to get back in time for Christmas Eve dinner. But the real problem was having to explain this to my mom. Okay. Mamma, lo so, eh, non credo di farcela. Almeno un figlio, visto che l'altro viene il 26. È eh, solo una vigilia, mamma. Don't look at me like that. You think I was happy to have to go away and miss Christmas Eve? Haven't you guys ever had to choose family or work? Anyway, let's get back to the story. The city we are headed to doesn't need a big introduction. The magnificent Firenze, Florence. Okay, here we are. Before going to see the properties... Oh, I forgot to mention, it's not just one apartment, but two incredible apartments for sale in the same building. And they are both located right here in the center of Firenze. Let's check out the city. Obviously, it has to be said that seeing all of Florence in just one day it's impossible. Here, you might have an incredible church right behind you without even knowing it. Exactly, let's go. It is full of so many places and all that deserves to be appreciated. Fun fact, what you see behind me is not the original Michelangelo's Davide, but wow, when the original is a masterpiece, even a copy can make you emotional. I mean, seeing a place like this, this time of the year, I mean, it's so unico. Hey. Okay, I know, at Christmas time, we all should be better people. And I swear, I'm a good person. But, you know, there are certain things that I just can't. Scusi, ma non si può c***o, ma non ha visto che c'è il cestino qua, qua di fianco? And then, back to normal. Beautiful, let's keep going. On top of the tree, in Piazza Duomo, the city was full of lights, which only reminded me of what day it was and where I was. Guys, the view is amazing. I don't know how many cities in the world can lay claim to such a beautiful postcard. What you do have done? I mean, something I struggle with is the question. Is it worth missing the most important moments with the family for work? Maybe it's a risk. I don't know. Ah, too many questions. Just listening to me is making my head hurt and I imagine for you too. So let's get out of here and let's go to the first apartment. Mmm, buon profumo. Okay, aqua floor. Let's check it out. Wow, look at this place. What would you recommend for a gift? So just tell me more about her so I can help you out better. Yeah, I mean, it's a person that may be angry with me because I'm right. gonna miss Christmas Eve with her. We got the solution for you. Okay. No doubt. Cinnamon, 
cinnamon, orange and spices. This is the perfect gift for Christmas time and nice. should be happy with this. You see. There you go. Mmm, bueno. This is the perfect. She can't be angry with you after yeah. she tries this. So. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Hi Chiara. Chiara Duffy. How are you? I'm very well. And you? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm I I got lost in Firenze. I found this place, this amazing place. I will tell you later about it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but this is the palazzo, right? Yeah, it's very different between to the other facade. Uh -huh. The um, uniqueness of mm -hmm. this facade is the decoration. Is a particular technique from the 15th century, and this called it graffiti. I thought that graffiti was just a, a street art thing. So Maybe it was the street art of, of the, the past. Of the past. And what about this giant door? Yeah, actually, in the 15th century, it was one of the most big they made because in that age they used to have like little 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 door yeah so this is something very unique so what do you think let's go in i think it's a good idea let's yeah, go let's go here we are this is the noble floor where the two apartments are what what's the noble floor is the first floor of the palazzo like this because the nobility used to live in this floor mm -hmm. because of course of the high ceiling yeah. because they didn't have the elevator yeah well what's the height of the ceiling is 5.8 meters wow so it's actually double yeah so let's start from the hallway which is facing and we have the view to the courtyard with the with the fresco the graffiti then we have the kitchen on the left side a modern kitchen here and then here we are in the best part, the living area with all the frescoes. And we need to say that we are in a 130 square meters apartment. On this side we have the guest bathroom and the laundry room. On the other side we have the master bed with the master bath and the closet. And then here there is, I think, the pearl of the apartment, the terrace. You can access to the terrace from the, uh, from the master bedroom and also from the living room. How you feel here? I feel great. Yeah. I feel great. I feel great. <laughs> I feel great. Yeah, it's warm. It's I mean, true. the feeling you have when you cross the door is this feeling of warmth. The architect did an amazing work matching the color of the furniture with the color of with the, the frescoes. frescoes. Are those original frescoes? Yes, of course. There are original frescoes from the 18th century. Wow. And the particularity is that they found the frescoes after the renovation. And what is, is also very interesting is the functionality. Because, for example, we have smart technology inside. Ah, really? So you can manage and control by the app all the technical system, wow. like air conditioning, everything. So if you buy this apartment, you buy also the furniture, you buy everything, the concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I noticed that strange hardwood. Is, what, what kind of? It's a French parquet. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting because in the other part of the house uh, there is the cotto, there right? There is the cotto, yeah. which is the typical Tuscan uh, flooring. Yeah. And they decide to keep it, yeah. but to change in the living area to make it warm, mm -hmm. as you said before. Yeah, yeah, I like the the warm feeling of the of the wood. And um, the owner told me that some of the pieces are from the 50s, mm -hmm. some from the 60s. She bought mainly uh, these pieces in the Mercante in Fiera di Parma. Which is a very famous fair in Italy, here. Everybody know it. Yeah, it's a, like um, one of the best antiques market fair. Yeah. Cheers! Cheers! Thank you. Thank you for showing me these amazing apartments. I mean, and tell me about this neighborhood. Yeah. So, we are in Santa Croce, Tommy, yeah. okay? Very close and few steps from the Basilica, yeah. the famous one in the square. And uh, 
also we are very close to the best and most famous monument of the city center mm -hmm. so piazza signoria the yeah. duomo but if we cross the bridge we will be in oltrarno, oltrarno yeah super cool place super cool place is upcoming place yeah. i need to tell you about the market because if you buy an apartment like this you will live here for, yeah. for a while and in sant'ambrogio you can find all the typical Tuscan food. Mm -hmm. You can find the vegetables, you can find the meats, they cook it for you immediately. Oh, really? Yeah, it's super nice. What what would you suggest me? Um, to have today yeah, for lunch? Yeah, I'm hungry. Have you ever tried Lamprodotto? Never. What is? I don't tell no. you now. Okay, okay. I will try it out. You will try and then when you come back, uh -huh. we see the other apartment. Okay. You will tell me how was it. Well, this is a typical street food from Firenze. Chiara recommended it. This is panino con lampredotto. Ok, scusi, posso chiederle con cosa è fatto il panino con lampredotto? È il quarto stomaco del vitello. Viene lessato con tutte le verdure fresche e viene messo sale, un po' di pepe, la salsina verde. Per natura non contiene grassi, è zero colesterolo. So, apparently... I'm eating the entrails of a cow. Va bene. Come? Buono? Buono. Vai, Buono. Mangiato una cosa tipica. Sì. I don't know how to describe it. It's good. Robertino gave me this panino for free. Didn't expect. The Fiorentini are incredibile. for the top. Oh, it comes up short and that's it. Primo ferro. This is how you do it. Even though I had a full stomach, I couldn't wait to see the second apartment, but all those Christmas decorations kept reappearing. And with them, the question, was it worth it to miss Christmas Eve for this? Hey, hello. Come era il lampredotto? It was good, buono. And wow, this is amazing. This apartment is 150 square meters, commercial square meters. So in this part, we have the living space, yeah. living area. And in this other side, we have the sleeping area. Okay. So let's start from here with these four amazing windows. And this part with the sofas is perfect, yeah. like to invite friends and to watch TV. Near the kitchen. Yes, the kitchen. Would you like to have a coffee? Yeah, I'll see. Okay, let's do it. Let's see if there is a mocha. No, here. no, no, wait. I got mine. Oh, you can prefer it, Tommy. Always, always <laughs> prepared. I think it's a very good idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tell me a little about this amazing place. I think that this apartment is very versatile because, I mean, could be perfect for an artist that yeah. use this like to live but also to make the studio in. Yeah. Which is nice because also what I think is nice in, in this space is the like the mix and the match between contemporary and design pieces. Yeah, like this table. Yeah. But it matched perfectly with the frescoes. Yeah. And also the fans. Yeah, it's very interesting because this apartment is for sale with the furniture because it's not only something very particular, unique and important for the history mm -hmm. of the place. It's also about the quality of the materials mm -hmm. they choose. Yeah. So it comes furnished except for three pieces, right? Exactly. One is the family crest. Yeah. It's handmade painted mm -hmm. and is perfectly matched with everything. Yeah. And tell me about the library table. Yeah, the library table is in walnut. Mm -hmm. It's very old. Yeah. Is uh, the price is quite high because of that. It's, it's what What do you mean? What's, we are, what's the price? We are around twenty thousand. Okay. Euros. Wow. Yeah. And then in the in the sleeping area, mm -hmm. there is this dresser. It is from Luigi Sixteenth. Wow. So. It's a great piece as well. Here Tommy is like to sleep in a luxury hotel. It's like uh, living as a princess. Yeah. 
you can get the stair as a princess, open the windows as a princess, and have a look to the city as a princess. I think a princess needs also a closet as a princess. What's the price of this huge apartment? The price is 1.2 million mm -hmm. and uh, is the price including the furnishing. So, as we said before, you buy the concept. And, and it's a great concept. It's a I great mean. concept. The more I tried not to think about it, the more it haunted me. The guilt of missing Christmas Eve. And that enchanting luxury apartment, empty, at Christmas, it definitely didn't help. It seemed to be telling me something. Okay, Chiara, thank you so much for having me here with those two fantastic apartments. And please say hello to your colleague at Dreamer. Definitely. From me. Know. And uh, yeah, Buon Natale. Buon Natale anche a te. Grazie. And thank you for coming. And have a good trip back home. Thank you so much. So, family or work? Was it worth it coming to Firenze? I don't know. I figured that when the day was over, I would be at peace. But the truth is, I don't know. Okay, I can't deny it. I had fun. It was so nice to go to Firenze and see those two beautiful apartments. Who am I kidding? It was incredible. But on the other hand, it's Christmas Eve. I would have wanted to be with my family. Maybe the truth is, we are not always forced to choose one thing over another. It's not always black and white, right or wrong. Sometimes you can have both. And of course, maybe it's not that easy. And maybe it's more exhausting. It's like those two fantastic apartments. What's the point of having them if not to share them with those you love? Ciao! Ti aspettavo, Tommy, per cortesia, però togliti le scarpe, sai che io ho la fissa del...